box by this. And in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month and all the brave souls who have fought this disease, tonight's Anchor Mom focuses on a real mom who fought a real battle and came out the other side with a really important message. Get your mammograms. Take out of your wasted So called problems. Better put them in quotations. After waging the fight of her life over the past year against breast cancer, Lourdes Monsolos is finally able to cry. There was no time for tears during battle. Now that I can look back on what I went through, I realize how big it was and how difficult it was for everybody. She isn't your typical cancer survivor either because she doesn't fit into a single high-risk category. She's a non-smoker, not overweight, under 50 years old, has no family history, and doesn't even test positive for the cancer gene. And to top that all off, she never felt a lump. I had an infection, which is called mastitis. You typically have that infection when you're breastfeeding. I wasn't at the time. She was sent to an oncologist who discovered a slight change during a baseline mammogram, an appointment she almost blew off. August of 2009, I almost missed my appointment. I just, my heel broke, I was late, I just didn't want to go. And I did, I went, and because I had all those baseline mammograms, they noticed that a tiny calcification in my left breast had grown by a millimeter. A millimeter that changed her life, and if not for early detection, could have ended it too. My surgeon told me that I would not have felt a lump in my breast for a good 10, 15 years. It would have been too late for me when that I felt long? that long. It was in the back part of my breast. There was no lump. Her 10-year-old daughter, Melina, is just one of three beautiful reasons Lourdes didn't curl up into a ball and went head-on into treatment. And there were plenty of dark days when she couldn't even get out of bed, something her girls weren't used to. What do you like the best about your mom? Her beef stuck enough. <laughs> <laughs> Melina shoots from the hip and literally wears her heart on her sleeve, never taking off her breast cancer bracelet in honor of her mom summing up her feelings in just a word. How did it make you feel? Um, kind of nervous. Lourdes was nervous too. She couldn't even bring herself to tell her children she was sick. I didn't cry. I didn't cry then, and I didn't cry throughout my treatment, and I didn't cry in front of them, but I couldn't tell. A dear friend broke the news, and they began a new life of making the best of it, keeping things as normal as possible, with the exception of her bald head, often a canvas for her girl's artwork. And while her hair continues to grow out, Melina did some growing up. What would you say to other kids whose moms get breast cancer? Do you have advice for them? Not to worry. Because why? If you don't worry, she'll feel better. And Lourdes urges with regular mammograms, you won't have to worry. It is extremely curable. It is extremely treatable. But if and only if, it gets caught early. For Lourdes, the prognosis is good. And with a mammogram, yours can be too. And by the way, pink isn't the only color women should consider this month. If you are a woman of color, a minority, there is a higher mortality rate among Hispanics and African Americans who get breast cancer. And one of the reasons they believe this is, is, is happening is because Latinos and African Americans tend to not get their annual baseline mammograms. Now, it's really important, and I just want to say to Lourdes as a friend, I'm happy to give you a voice. If you'd like to chime in on breast cancer, excuse me, or any other topic affecting today's mothers or motherhood, just go to my blog, Anchor Mom, and that's on fox5sandiego.com. Warren? Kathleen, thanks so much for doing that story for our moms, our wives, our daughters, everybody. Thank you.